Hi everyone, my name is Patrick McBrayer and I'm the Power Products Sales Manager. Today we're looking at the G220RS Tier 4 Final Mobile Diesel Generator from JCB. The G220RS is powered by an 8 liter diesel engine and is built to withstand the rigors of everyday use in the American rental market. All the electrical connections are conveniently located on the curbside to keep the operator safe and out of traffic. Now let's take a look behind the main door. When opening all doors, make sure to safely latch them into the stop. Behind the main door, you'll find controller, circuit breaker, bus bar access, and convenience panel. This panel is set up for synchronization, so you'll find a resistor switch, set to set plugs, and analog load share. Consistent across all machines are convenience outlets and three shore power connections protected by a breaker array. We'll also have a connection for a battery charger, block heater, and remote start terminals. Here you'll find a connection for a controller interface with a laptop and engine diagnostic plug. Here's the ECU override switch. When engaged, this will allow you to power up the ECU. Directly below the bus bar, you'll find access to the cam locks. These three doors contain a safety feature which if opened while the machine is in use, will cause the engine to shut down. Both sides of the machine contain a recessed emergency stop switch. Test points allow the operator to check both generator and bus voltage safely while the machine is running. The bus hot lamp indicates to the operator that the machine is live and producing voltage. Refer any time to the analog hour meter to check your engine hours. JCB generators feature multiple controller options. This machine features a color touchscreen display and is parallel capable. With all doors closed, machine operating conditions can be viewed through the control window on the main access door. Every JCB generator is fitted with LiveLink telematics enabling you to remotely monitor the status of your machine. For safe access to the alternator end of the machine, use the fold away step and step up onto the non slip diamond plated surface. Behind the door, above the trailer A frame, you'll find a three position voltage selection switch and multi set communication cable for paralleling multiple generators. Every JCB generator comes with a three position voltage selection switch. Options are 480 volt three phase, 208 volt three phase, or 240-120 single phase, and never switch between voltages while the machine is running. The operator's manual can be found inside the rear passenger side door. The single point lift is designed to carry the weight of the trailer and generator full of fuel. To safely access the single point lift, step onto the platform, use the non-slip surface above the fender to access the integrated ladder. Fluid management is accomplished externally from the driver's side and clearly color-coded caps for each, diesel being labeled black and DEF blue. Tank capacities are clearly labeled next to the fill point and each tank is designed for a minimum of 24-hour runtime. Behind the driver's side door, you'll find the batteries and battery isolation switch. Be careful not to turn off the battery isolation switch while the machine is running. The fuel selector switch and all engine service items are conveniently located on the passenger side. Here you'll find the water fuel separator, fuel filter, and oil filter, as well as the engine oil fill and level check. There are two ways to check the fuel level. One, digitally through the controller, and two, visually by looking at the sight gauge on top of the fuel tank. For machine specific information, such as the serial number, refer to the JCB data plate on the passenger side below the cam lock connection cabinet. Every machine has a QR code. Use your smartphone to scan the code, bring up jcb.com, and a machine specific quick start guide. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please go to jcb.com and thank you for watching.